that that's we are the, one of the last two states that have uh, any form of concealed carry. I, I'm all for concealed carry. Uh, I think Mr. Doyle uh, needs to go, and we need to reevaluate that that entire process. Uh, also, with that HR, I think it's 218 or 812. I, I get them mixed up, but that's the uh, uh, retired officer's right to carry, and and that also needs to be pushed through. JB Van Howen needs to uh, kind of start pushing that. I think. And if he's going to be conservative, I think he needs to start looking at that. But I'm all for concealed carry, and uh, the sooner we can get it, the better. And a lot of people freak out, well, concealed carry, why are we carrying guns? Well, you know, we already have the right to carry open. And, and Kirk, Kirk went to that. He's got some pamphlets. I encourage you all to, to take a look at those. Uh, open carry is a right. Concealed carry, you know, uh, I think a lot of times people freak out when they see open carry. Uh, why, why keep them guessing? Just... Why not have concealed carry and be done with it? If it's if it's a right, we should be entitled to it. It's a uh, it's a constitutional right to carry. Um, I'm all for the concealed carry in Wisconsin. Every other state that's gone concealed, uh, there's never been a big influx of of uh, new crimes committed by those people. Um, you know, the criminals are going to have the guns anyway. Why not give people the option to carry if they want? Um, I've had the option for 20 years now. I don't choose to carry most of the time. Once in a while I do, I'll keep you guessing. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, but there's no reason that, that the general public shouldn't have that right as well. Um, obviously, there's going to have to be some restraint on you know, convicted violent felons and the people with mental illness. Um, you know, and that's for the legislature to hammer out. Eric, that's your job. Um, you know, so I'll just go on record right now saying I'd be for it. 